How does uh, digital technology reshape health and healthcare? In every industry, we have gone through a transition where digital technology first supports the existing business models for administrative efficiency, then it evolves to create and shape the future business models. Healthcare so far, we have seen technology purely for administrative efficiency. Over the next decade, maybe a little longer, we will begin to see the transformation of healthcare by putting digital at the core of how we deliver value to every member of the broadly evolving ecosystems. So we're gonna go through a cycle of innovation, disruption, and transformation, where the disruption is only gonna be one part of the larger cycle that's gonna get played out faster and faster in healthcare. The digital matrix is really a way that I've explained to existing companies in existing industries to look at the opportunities and challenges of digitization. Most existing companies look at big IT companies as if they are separately operating in a different industry. The argument in the digital matrix is that these big companies, the Apple, the Alphabet, Amazon, and others, as well as small startups, will start to influence the digitization of how values delivered in traditional industries. They could be retail, they could be automotive, they could be financial services, they could be media. And increasingly, as healthcare becomes digital, which means we go from administrative efficiency to products being digitized, processes being digitized, service delivery being digitized, and the business models getting digitized, the digital matrix is a way for established players to look at possible forces from other entities. The second part of the digital matrix is the three phases of transformation. I said earlier, innovation, disruption, and transformation, or here I talk about experimentation at the edge, collision at the core, and reinvention at the root. These three phases mapped against three types of players really gives rise to the concept of the digital matrix. The role of public policy and regulation in healthcare so far has been to protect the incumbent and their processes, but the end result has been very high level of expenditure on part of the economy and the society in healthcare. And so we, we have to address the possibility that we haven't fully taken advantage of digitization, right? So which means we can't protect the existing players and we have to allow other players to bring innovation inside. So in my view, it'll start at the periphery, it'll start at the consumer level, and consumers will start clamoring for better level of service with affordability that we have already seen in other industries and healthcare will have to start responding to those forces. The big issue from a regulation is, what is it that we need to protect the consumers when it comes to things like privacy, security, identity? These are areas where in the other industries we may not have spent that much time, but in healthcare we need to focus on. So we need to have a different conversation about the role of public policy in making um, healthcare affordable and accessible by all. I think technology has an important role to play in that. The digital giants over the last um, decade have made sure that they could touch three billion consumers on a global basis, uh, essentially using smartphones or providing functionalities like WhatsApp and Facebook and Instagram. Those services have really not played a part in health, except providing information about health in a tangential sense. The premise of the digital matrix is that those companies will be able to use their scale to expand their scope and to do it at speed. So I can see them becoming an important player in the ecosystem. But they also know that they don't have subject area expertise. So they will want to pick from the existing players, 
to tap into the expertise of existing players. But I see in the next 10 years, this ecosystem morphing with existing players, digital giants, and the startups all coming together where their role and relationships are gonna be up for grabs, so to speak, rather than the way we think about that you're a payer, a provider, um, a pharma company, or um, you know, device company as the case may be. I think those distinctions will increasingly will be just blurred. I think the change should really happen at the individual level. Um, they have to both be curious about the medical technology and what the frontiers of the technology are, but more importantly, they have to realize that their behavior needs to change. If they believe that the behavior needs to change, which could be at the level of adherence, which could be at the level of prevention, or engaging with the health system much more well-informed and much more um, uh, connected to the frontier of how the care really helps them. Um, we will make a huge progress with individual at the center and all the other players playing supporting role to help the individual take much more of a responsibility for their healthcare. When that changes, then everybody else realizes that they can play a much more catalytic, catalytic role rather than just you know, paying, uh, playing some of the piecemeal role that they have played so far. So I think the digitization is gonna put the consumer at the center and other players play much more complementary role.